Welcome to a quick start guide to using the Indiana map. We're going to look at three things. We're going to look how to zoom, how to add a layer, and how to search. So let's look at zooming first. The easiest way to zoom is to double click the map. Double click and go in. We can use the zoom bar on the left hand side to go back in. Or we can zoom by rectangle. Now if we want to go all the way back out, an easy way to do that is to click on the full extent button, the map of Indiana in the lower left hand corner. Now that we've been to some extents, there's a history. and We can go backwards and forward by using the previous extent and the next extent button in the lower left hand corner. Now that's great, but let's imagine that you know where you want to zoom to. You can zoom to a county by using the search bar in the upper left. When you get a red push pin, you can select Marion here, hit enter, and we go to Marion. You can do the same with cities, even zip codes. Now you can use the search bar to search for addresses and places. Let's search for 100 Walnut Street, 47408. And there we are in Bloomington. You can search well-known places in Indiana. Now, to add a layer, there are a couple different ways you can do that. You can use the layer menu and see a list broken down into several categories. And if you find the one you want, you can highlight it and click it, and it's added to the map. To remove it, you can click it again. And there it goes, on and off. Now, another way to add a layer is to use the search bar. If you know the name, it'll appear as a layer icon. You can highlight it, click enter, and it's added to the map. Now, to reorder things, you can drag and drop or simply use the arrows. To change the opacity, you can use the slider bar. And to turn things on and off, the visibility of, there's the checkbox. Now, a neat way to explore the data is to identify by clicking anywhere on the map. So there's a tree. When I click on it, I'm going to get the tree that it is. And then because the congressional district layer is on there, I'm going to get Todd Young because that's where the tree is. To see details, I can simply select it and I get all the details of Todd Young. Now, there's also in the detail menu, there's a legend. And the bookmark list is where our identify is stored. and go back to the list of layers, you might be wondering what the browse thing is. That's to explore all the trees that are in Indiana. Here we see a list of them all. We can filter if we know a particular word we want. So there's Eastern, and hitting enter we'll get Eastern Hemlock and Eastern Red Cedar. And we can zoom to that particular extent. So there's a quick introduction to adding layers, searching, and zooming around the map.